Are you ready for some roofing? No. No? No. This is the day we've been waiting for for ages. I know, that's why no. <laughs> the roofers are coming, the roofers are coming. Hopefully by the end of the day, some of those shingles will be on our dome. Basically, everything in blue that you see will eventually have shingles on it. That's all considered roof on a dome. That's a lot of roof. We figured that 50 year shingles, if this roof has to be redone, it won't be our problem. <laughs> so in our view, these are lifetime shingles. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Roofing a dome is a little bit different from a standard roof. Lots of cutting involved. There's a specific pattern that the roofers will follow and each triangle is basically treated as, as a separate mini roof. Here's a nice picture showing the order of the shingles going up. So we'll start with these guys. Then we'll do these, <laughs> but at the same time they could go this and this, this and this. They could do that at the same time so they can go zoop, zoop, zoop. I did it three times so you don't have to say how does that go. I was gonna, but <laughs> all right. And any that actually goes straight up, you can do all of the, you can do the top and bottom. That's what I just said, zoop. Oh. Okay, <laughs> but then you can get these guys, and then these guys, and then these guys, and then these guys. That's a lot of guys. And now we wait. They're here. Hooray! Here come the roofers. Our roofers are here. Hey. <laughs> How you doing today? Uh, we're gonna start with this roof on. This Couldn't is, set it better. This is gonna be a little bit challenging, so hopefully you guys are up for it. They're starting with the starter shingles along the base. And then after that, we'll start building up the triangles. They're also gonna start roofing the extensions. We have never had this many people working at our place before. This is crazy yeah, good. I think this is more than the uh, concrete folks, so. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this. Our first shingles are going up. Oh, oh my gosh. Over there, we're gonna have to have some step flashing going up the side of the extension and looks like he's got that under control. Oh my gosh, I love that there are people here who know what they're doing with roofing. Fantastic. <laughs> this is awesome. What he's marking now is six inches down from the hip because when they do the upside down triangle, that's what they're gonna overlap. <laughs> Brian's gonna help. I can't even get it out of the talent. <laughs> they make it look so easy. They're leveling as they go to make sure things are nice and straight. The two skylights on that first extension, the porch extension, are finally going to get flashed. And so this is the flashing kit that comes from Velux. So that's the porch roof. Here it looks like they're getting ready to make the ladder safe for the two-story extension roof. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, there is. I'm looking forward to seeing the triangles done and then the upside down triangle, because then we'll really be able to see what the dome roof is going to look like. Very much, yeah. Holy cow, he's carrying that brick of shingles up to the second floor. These guys are workers. Here's the current view from down the hill. They're working on the backside right now, but I'd say within the next two days, we're going to see some progress up front. First two triangles are up. They look great. Brian's up in the cupola. He's going to set up a ladder on the outside so that they can get up to the top of the cupola roof. Apparently, these guys are not afraid of heights. There they go on the cupola. Yep, I've got the ladder strapped in. <laughs> nice and safe up there. Oh, totally. <laughs> He was comfortable and I think it's okay. I, I've been there and done that. He's so. got the safety rope on up there too. He does.
Look at you helping. <laughs> He's working on that downward triangle now. Each one is going to overlap by six inches on the upward triangles. Really happy to see that he's doing a great job minimizing the waste. I was afraid we were going to run out, but it looks like they're doing a good job trying to reuse the small pieces. So. Could you imagine us trying to do this on our, by ourselves? Yes, yes, that, no. Yeah, the first two courses I think we could do, but after that, that would not be fun. I'm spent. Or you'd get really strong. Not in that amount of time. <laughs> Here's the other thing he's doing perfect too, is making sure he sets back the shingle at least six inches so the seams are never the same. Brian's going up there to put the flashing around the two pipes, the extrusions that we put in the roof yesterday for the vent stack and the radon pipe exhaust. Can't have water coming through there. Those pipes up there. There they are, up on the top of the cupola, putting that roof on. It's like they're starting to put the flashing around the skylights up there. So much monkey. Yeah, you do pretty well. I'm not a roofer not yet anyway. <laughs> He's trimming off the excess, making that nice six inch overlap. Wow, they got more done since I was here. They've been hard at work. Yeah, so they've got some of the down triangles going. I think they got it down pat. They know what they're doing. No sense making them walk any further than they need to with those heavy things. That's better. Done. Hey, look, you can see our, our future wildflower strip in the back. Yeah. Another project because we don't have enough projects going on. Can't finish anything anyway. Might as well start another one. <laughs> we like to start projects. <laughs> so this is what it's like hiring somebody to build your house for you. When you can just sit around and watch them do it. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> yeah started on the second course. Now is when things are going to start to get more difficult. What was he doing up there? What were you doing up there? Trying to waterproof the two penetrations. Oh. It's going to rain tonight. They're not going to get to it, so. Ah. Have at it. <laughs> and that's their new setup to work on the second level. It's gonna take a while to get this dome done. Here's my garden. And there's the guys on the top of the cupola. <laughs> Two more triangles. We're losing light and it's the end of the day, but they're still up there working. Today was probably the last nice day that they'll have to work. It's gonna get a little more uncomfortable from here on out. A lot more uncomfortable. I'm so impressed. You? Yeah. I, this would have been a month. <laughs> and it wouldn't look as good. More tomorrow. We're back for day two of roofing. Yes. It is 30 degrees outside. <laughs> it's very cold. I'm glad they came back. <laughs> yeah. Didn't scare them off yet. So, we'll see what happens today. You can see really where the triangle design starts to take shape. No caulk, no ridge caps, just overlapping shingles. Mid morning of day two, and they are working up the dome. You can see they finished the porch roof, and now they have moved on 
to doing the two-story extension roof. Are you sad that we're not doing this step? No. <laughs> Me either. More progress, and they finished the second story extension, so I believe they have moved over to start the bedroom bump out on the other side. This is the bedroom bump out, so that's what they're gonna start next. Oh, look at that, they started in on the front. They're going up the next level. We're losing light, so we will call it a day and see how far they get tomorrow. More tomorrow. <laughs> Stay tuned for part two as we shingle to the top. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. And, and happy, happy New, New Year. Year. If you enjoy our videos, we'd really appreciate it if you would take a second and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. And until next time, like our farm sign says, just keep growing. <laughs>